So, you folks recall the other day, um, I did a video on vintage cooking, and the title of the video was Keep It Simple. Um, and what I wanted to just uh, update everyone on, and a friend of mine suggested it, and I kind of know, and I would have done it for myself, but I neglected to put this in the video, um, this one tip, and I'm really sorry, um, but... Thank you for watching this one, and you'll be able to get the tip that I'm about to leave you. Um, my friend pointed out that a lot of people nowadays have more dietary restrictions as far as cholesterol and diabetes and uh, gluten and things like that. But the beauty about these cookbooks is they are so versatile. You don't have to go um, and get a special cookbook or look things up online. You could still use a vintage simple cookbook and just swap out whatever ingredients you need to swap out for a healthier version. So there are so many health, healthy, healthy options that it's really it really shouldn't be an issue and still not a reason why you can't give up some of this good home cooking. We'll just be making it more healthy. Um, obviously, if there's something you absolutely cannot have, I don't suggest you have it. Um, but um, you've got to do your own research and decide for yourself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going back to more simple meals, basically cooking the way I grew up. Uh, my parents cooked extremely healthy. Um, you know, they lived to be 93, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go nuts with it. I do things in moderation, um, and as everyone should. So if you're on a low-sodium diet or um, type 2 diabetes, um, gluten, if you have to do keto or if you choose to do keto or any other dietary um, restriction, you can still make healthy meals that are uh, vintage <laughs> comfort foods. You just have to choose a healthier option, which, by the way, wasn't available back then. And, I mean, come on, my folks were 93. So, and my whole family. Um, I'm not saying that um, eat whatever you want and you'll live to be 100, but um, you just got to kind of um, tweak it to suit your dietary needs and your, your liking, and uh, you can just make things on a lighter scale. And uh, I hope that you guys will get out and get some vintage cookbooks. And if anything else, like I always say, it's a conversation piece. Put them on a little table or on a... Um, little shelf or a little nook in your kitchen and people come over, you got another something else to talk about old cookbooks. So, um, that was just my little tip for today. And I just wanted to leave that and I didn't want to lead, uh, mislead anyone on. I do want you all to stay healthy as healthy as you can. So do your research and make sure that, um, any recipes you find in the vintage cookbooks are suitable for you. And if they are not, see what you can uh, substitute to bring them up to your daily needs as life, life holds it right now. <laughs> uh, so that is all for today on my cookbooks. And I hope that you have a good day. I hope that this tip was helpful for you. And I will catch you guys on my next video.